channel. Are you guys ready for another fall makeup look? I love fall. Fall is my favorite season ever. I just love the coolness, but at the same time I can wear a big fat hoodie and you don't know if I'm wearing a bra underneath or not. I love fall makeup looks. I think they are so fun, so grungy, so like smoky. At the same time, they can be colorful. Maroons, greens, golds. There's just so much you can do with fall makeup looks, but I love that we're getting into the bold lips. But this is an all matte green smoky eye, and I am obsessed with how it turned out. I used the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights So Jaded palette. I really, really love this palette. I think she did an amazing job on this palette. I know I gave it so much credit in my 26th birthday makeup tutorial. I'm like, damn, these blues are so good. But the greens are so good as well. Like, I'm obsessed with this makeup look right now. So I'm so excited to get into more tutorials using this palette because I think there's just so many options that you can do. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I enjoyed creating it for you and I'm so excited to get into this palette even more and show you guys more tutorials using it. But if you wanna see how I get this makeup look, then just keep watching. All right, so like always, I'm going to prime and set my eyelids. Alright, I just zoomed you guys in a little bit, so now we're going to go into the So Jaded palette from Kathleen Lights in ColourPop. I just did a tutorial using this palette for my 26th birthday makeup look, and I absolutely loved the shades that I went into. I just think you can do so many different things with this palette, and I'm just obsessed with the color range. I love how you can get a cool tone look, a warm tone look, a natural tone look, a fall look, a winter look, a summer look. You can get anything using this palette, and I think that's what's so great about it, and I think that's why the whole beauty community pretty much loves this palette, just because you can do so many different things with this palette. Alright, so since I want to do more of like a green fall makeup look today, so the first shade I'm going to go into is Geodude right here. It's almost like a poopy green, that's what it really looks like to me. So I love that kind of shade to put all over the crease as a transition shade. ColourPop formula is just so pigmented, so buttery, so creamy. You can blend it out so nicely. I just think ColourPop and Morphe also is just so good for what you get. Like Morphe eyeshadow palettes are huge and they range from like $25 to $30, which is incredible. I kind of want to add a little bit of citrine. This is a mustery yellow. I'm going to put that just lightly on top. I just think yellow or gold is just such a fall color. So I definitely wanted to incorporate citrine in this makeup look somehow. This palette really doesn't have that much kick up, which is amazing because then you're not wasting a whole bunch of product and it really doesn't have that much fallout. I mean, I went in with the blues and I was surprised that I really didn't have that much fallout with it. But now for the star of this eye makeup look, I'm going to go into the shade Jade and I'm going to put that all over my lids. This is a matte shade, but I think it would look so pretty just everywhere. I've really been into just like all matte smoky eyes, but it's just kind of different for me because normally I go in with like a shimmer and put a shimmer all over my lid, but I'm just like, oh, I love a good matte smoky eye. All right, now that that's all over my eyelids, I'm going to go back into Citrine and Geodude. I'm just going to kind of mix them together on my brush and then just blend out those edges. Alright, I'm going to go back into the shade Jade and just re-intensify my lid shade just because some did get blended away. Perfect! I am loving this look so far. Alright, I'm going to take Stoned. That is such a funny name. We got you, Kathleen. We got you. 
I'm going to be taking this shade all along my lash line just to give it kind of a liner effect. I've been really liking to do that lately just because it gives a little dimension to your eye makeup look. I actually might take some of that stoned shade just lightly, like tap off your brush and put it on the outer V just to make it a little bit darker on the outer V and give it a little bit more dimension. I don't know how well you can tell, but this one just looks a little bit more smokier already and not so blah. And I'm really just patting this fluffy brush on my outer V and that's about it. It's not much, but it does a little bit. All right, I think I'm done with the eyes so far, so I'm just going to go off camera, do my foundation and my concealer and powder, and I will be right back. All right, now that my foundation, concealer, powder is all done, I'm going to be going into my contour palette. This is the Makeup Revolution Pro HD Powder Contour Palette. And I'm going into this shade right here to contour out my cheekbones, my forehead, and my nose. It is kind of a lighter contour, so I have to build it up a little bit, but that's okay. It still looks really good and it blends out really nicely. I'm actually going to use my bronzer to bronze out my nose, but this is the bronzer that I'm going to go into. This shade is just perfect for my skin tone right now. And I just talked about this palette on my September favorites. I just think it's so buttery. It blends out really nicely. I think that Jaclyn Hill really had a hit product when she purchased this from Ulta. Even though I had to get it from the Makeup Revolution site. I couldn't find it at Ulta.com or anything like that. Maybe it just sold out because she mentioned it and now it's such a popular product. I'm not really sure. Now I'm going to take this light vanilla shade and I'm actually going to be using that shade to brighten up my under eyes. I really think that this is a good dupe for the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. Pretty much has every shade that you will ever need in this palette. And it's a little bit more affordable. All right, now to go into blush, I'm gonna be using the Morphe 9B Blush Palette. And I'm gonna be using this shade right here. I've been loving this particular shade for highlighting in fall just because it is a goldeny shade. It is in the Makeup Revolution and Soph palette. I have been loving this shade right here. I think this is perfect for fall so that's what I'm going to be using today. I think this palette in general is very good and it's so affordable it's like $12 and they are like high-end quality like they are so pigmented and so blinding all right now I want to finish up the eyes so I'm gonna go back into the so jaded palette and I'm gonna be going into the shade hi jade All right, then I'm going to do what I did on my lid and I'm going to dip back into Citrine and Geodude. Just go back and forth. And that's what I'm going to use to smudge out this lower lash line. Just make it extra smoky and so it matches my lid. Now I think I'm going to mix Pearl and peridot that's how i say it peridot peridot period with a t however the heck you want to say it i'm going to go into this green shade right here and pearl mix them together and put that in my inner corners so there's just peridot all by itself now i'm going to put pearl on top Ooh. Yeah, it's pigmented, but that's really pretty. I'm going to just only put pearl just on my brow bone. All right, now that I'm done with the eyes, I'm going to go put on some mascara in my lip product, and once again, I'll be right back. 
Alright, so for my lid product, I use the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Trap. And yeah, guys, that completes this makeup look. I love how it turned out. I think it's just so fall, so grungy. I love the all matte look to it, except for the inner corners. I just think it is so pretty. I have to say, I think I'm obsessed with this palette. I think it is so beautiful. This has to be my favorite ColourPop palette that has ever came out. Even if it wasn't by Kathleen Lights, I think I would still love it so much. So far, I've went into the blues and the greens. What color do you want to see me do next? Comment down below. Let me know. I'm all about fall makeup looks at the moment because I love fall. Fall is my favorite season. I just love the coziness and the hoodie weather and drinking coffee and feeling all warm. I love how this look turned out and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for me down below. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!